Second sight, questioning the common morality of being and essence. The subjective renderings of what indeed is right and that indeed is wrong is the prime means to that we as human species substantiate our very essence as well as validate our sense of structure and ego thereof. We as a species have evolved as being an extremely gregarious creature. The human being is to whatever order inexorably inter and interdependent upon each other. However, what happens when the masses, the relative whole of societal construct of which we rely so very heavily on, goes awry and develops various constructs of highly rationalized belief mechanisms of who is and who is not permitted within the interactive apparatuses of all common social interactions? After all, being such a highly gregarious creature as that we are, to what extent does an individual step outside the realm of the need to placate the mass societal structure of nefarious hate and also destruction of his fellow man? An extermination of human entities, the egregiously immoral elimination of human souls, brought on to society that no longer respects individuals' common rights of existence with no sense of community and the construct of only the self to then rationalize hate, crime, senseless murder, and war. Can one, given fighting against the odds of an ill-established society, step totally out of the realm of the most basic renderings of the human species need to be interactive and to placate subsequent social acceptance, do what is right. Not just within the realm of the relative subjective, but based undaunted upon a common morality. The constant instigated rendering of one's own ego, do what is indeed in the right and what indeed is ambiguously wrong. Indeed, these are the questions in today's society of the common, unmitigated human rights of being. I'm Richard J. Panizza.